let's talk about acclimatizing your fish and corals. Hello, and welcome to Fish and Reptile Info. My name is Serena. I would like to explain to you a couple of ways to correctly acclimatize your fish. When you have purchased your new fish or corals, it is of the utmost importance that you acclimatize these correctly before you place them in your aquarium. This will eliminate any stress to your fish. Fish that are not acclimatized correctly can suffer from a thing called osmotic shock, which usually leads to death within two or three days. Osmotic shock is usually one of the biggest killers of fish when not properly acclimated. This is the biggest mistake new fish keepers make. It is for that reason I am making this video. There are two ways of achieving correct acclimation. One important point to remember is to turn your lights out so it's as dark as possible. The first way, this is the more complicated way, however, it is also the best way as it causes less stress to your fish or coral. Basically, it consists of an airline from your aquarium into a holding tank, another airline from the holding tank to a collection bucket. See photo. Place your fish and water in the holding tank, then start the siphoning process of the water from the aquarium. As the holding tank starts to fill, you will need to start siphoning the water from the holding tank into the collection bucket. Your aim is to totally change all the water in the holding tank from the LFS water to your own aquarium water. When complete, net your fish and place in your aquarium. The second way to acclimatize is like this. Float your fish that is in the bag into your aquarium for at least half an hour. By doing this you acclimatize the temperatures. Then, undo the bag and fold the top over to make a nice firm circle, as shown in this photo. Slowly, take out some water from the bag, and, throw this away. Now replace that water you have taken out, and add it to your own aquarium water. Keep doing this every 5 minutes, until you think you have changed all the original water in the bag. It is of the utmost importance, that you, do not, let any of the original water from the LFS, into your aquarium. The reason I said that, is, we don't know what their water quality is like, and also if any treatments or chemicals have been added by them. Acclimatizing correctly, is especially important, to anemones and shrimps. For, anemones and shrimps, this should be done over at least two, to three hours. So, now you know the correct way to introduce your livestock into your aquarium. This method is used for all livestock that is added. I do hope this helps you to understand the importance of acclimatization. More videos to follow soon, full of information. So, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell, so you know when new information is available. Thanks for watching.